She's the new queen of daytime TV, and Ellen DeGeneres has shown she's also mastered the art of the giveaway. Ellen is coming to Australia for the first time and is bringing her studio audience as well. We were there as she shared the news. The crowd in here is already at fever pitch. Add Nicole Kidman and then this. Everyone here is going to Australia. Return flights, hotel rooms, the lot. Some left hospital to get here. I told the doctor I had to check out just to come here. And most could never afford it. I live in Riverside, so I pulled my gas money to come to Ellen. The current queen of daytime TV heading down under for one week to record segments for the show. With her, of course, her Australian partner, Portia. I've just always wanted to go. It just seems like a beautiful, you know, place. The other people jumping for joy, Tourism Australia. Because when Ellen walks down these steps, steps onto this stage and plays clips from Australia, on that TV it's reaching 15 million viewers and that's 15 million potential tourists. The call to convince Ellen to come to Australia actually started in 2010. Gold Coast radio DJs started a petition, even hosted a beach party to get her attention. It worked. So weird for us. We got to meet you yesterday in the audience. But even so, it's unlikely the Gold Coast and Queensland will be on the itinerary. Speak to the powers to be and see if we can get, get her and her whole show to the Gold Coast. The last time we had a visit of this magnitude, it helped boost tourism to the highest levels since the Sydney Olympics. So now, prepare for the Ellen Show. Everybody likes free stuff, but, you know, it's a trip to Australia. I mean, this is amazing. This, they're, they're just, uh, it's, it's a lot of joy, it's a lot of energy, and it's, you know, you can feel it. Denham Hitchcock, Nine News, Los Angeles.